There are very few other natural environments where you can see natural change occurring that quickly. So the beach is just a very good microcosm of nature as a whole. Nature is always changing the world around us. On the beach, you can see it in hours and days. In the mountains, you might have to wait years to see a similar change. So when I go to the beach, it's hard for me just to sit back and relax. I look at the beach and I think about what I see. Is the tide rising or falling? Is the beach eroding or is the beach gaining sand? Because it can do both. If you're on the flat top part of the beach, which we coastal geologists call the berm, if there's grass growing into it, dune grass of some sort, look at it and you can see that it might be trapping sand. Like if you come from the upper Midwest or somewhere where they have drift fences for snow, the vegetation does the same thing for blowing sand. It catches the sand and that might be the beginning of a new sand dune, given enough time, given enough wind, given enough going. If you take a coarse sand, and to a geologist, a coarse sand is sand that, where the grains have a diameter of one millimeter. And if you line them up perfectly, nice and neatly, um, it'll take a line of 10 grains to go one centimeter long. So one square centimeter would be 10 grains by 10, which is 100. And if you make that a cubic centimeter or a millimeter, that's 10 times 10 times 10 or 1,000. Well, if one little cubic centimeter is a thousand grains, a one liter bottle, we're all familiar with those, holds a million. Now let's back up for a minute. That was coarse sand. Fine sand, still sand, is an eighth of a millimeter. So instead of 10 by 10 by 10, it's 80 by 80 by 80, which is 512,000 instead of a thousand. So it's 512 million in a liter bottle. If you take that out to one cubic meter, that's 512 billion grains in one cubic meter. A lot of what we see is visual, seeing how a sand dune grows or showing a chain, showing a series of pictures where a house has eroded from, or where the land around a house has eroded across time, where a house originally was back on land and is now just pilings in the water. Two or three pictures showing that. Uh, one of the phenomenon a lot of people have heard of is called barrier island rollover, uh, where the barrier island, this thin strand of sand, a lot like the Outer Banks of North Carolina or the barrier islands of the eastern shore of Virginia or other places, just translates, moves landward. And it does that with sand eroding from the ocean side and being deposited on the marsh side. Well, as it does that, as the barrier island moves landward, the stuff that was originally landward of the beach is now shoreward of the beach. If we as a society can understand how nature works, we can formulate better ways to cope with it, better ways to live with what she's doing to us, and not try and force nature to fit what we need.